Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the updates in Command Beta 1544. Now the one thing I got to say about this one is it is a beta, so there might be some problems here and there, so just kind of keep it out. And keep in mind, like I said, this isn't a complete build yet, but there are some kind of fun features and I felt it was worthwhile to do a video for it. The first and kind of curious feature here is the ability to disable GPS in other GNSS systems. And uh, the reason this, of course, is very, very interesting is many modern weapons rely on satellite navigation signals in order to safely guide themselves to the ground. So let's go up to our editor real quick, add edit sounds. I'm going to go cruise over to blue. I'm going to hit this new button that says enablers. And uh, what you're going to see is we can turn things on and off. Now, because we're a typically Western side here, this is an F-16, um, we're going to go ahead and disable everybody just to demonstrate how it works. Close that screen, and then we're going to take a pot shot at this uh, lovely building down here, this little desert fort, which apparently decided to uh, put itself up in the middle of Block Island there for some reason. Hey, you never know what those summer tourists do, I'm just saying. So I'm going to go ahead and position them like this. I kind of speed up time a little bit to let my little F-16 kind of pass over. You can see we've got those lovely little lines there to make it very obvious what his altitude is. And away they go. Our F-16 can now go ahead back home. I think he's done a really nice job here. And we'll let them go ahead and strike the target. Ba -ba 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 Boom. All right, watch this. Now, if I open up my little uh, message log here, one of the things you're going to notice here is we have a thing. This is Weapon INS Drift. And we can actually see here that my GBU-38, because it did not get an update for a minute and a half, it's actually drifted a little bit, went about 11. Um, all of our weapons did strike the target. But you can see that these drifted pretty substantially. I had one drifted as much as 24 meters. And uh, it gives you an idea of just how far that basically can shift based on what's going on in our particular scenario. Now, he's done a lovely job. I'm going to go ahead and send him back home right now because he's demonstrated our first feature. So that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, one of the things you can do with it is you can actually define areas and say this whole area has no GPS signal or no GNSS signal. Now, another feature that they added, which I find to be very, very interesting, is the fact that we have the ability to now draw the terrain stereographically. Now, you're sitting there going, okay, what does that even mean? Let me show you, because it'll make much more sense here if I actually have something visual to go ahead and show it to you. And you can see my little helicopter basically bailing. Hey, buddy, the thing's right here. You are now uh, unassigned. Get your butt back into that valley. I need you for a demonstration. Thank you. Awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and bring up my game. I'm going to go to my options. Go to my map display. I'm going to grab this thing. This is 3D terrain rendering. Now, your brain just went, oh, okay, that's weird. Oh, it seems like nothing really changed. Oh, but it did. Look very, very, very carefully at this unit. Look very, very carefully at this unit in the valley and watch this whole mountain range. You will notice as I move the mountain range, the entire mountain range shifts to represent the actual shape of it. Now your brain might be going, wait a minute, I don't see anything. You can use, is there a way you can make that more obvious? Uh, sure, I'll make that much more obvious. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, it's too much. Let's do like, uh, I think 5X is gonna be more than enough to prove my point. There we go, watch this. Now look at the mountain now. You see how very, very clearly the whole thing is stereographically projected now. And as a matter of fact, I have to zoom out a little bit because our poor guy also gets exaggerated. Again, this is a little exaggerated because we're using 5X. But you can see very, very, very clearly now that uh, this one right here sitting on the top of the mountain is basically chilling all the way up here, resting on that location. And you can see my little helicopter making his way up the side of the mountain. And you can also see this unit down here is basically resting down here. Now, where this gets really, really, really cool, and I'll put it down to 2x so it's a little bit more mellow here, although well, the fact you can just change it like instantly and it goes ahead and adjusts itself, is if you have something that's in the water. <laughs> now, if we come down here and take a quick look here, you can see I've got my FFG Nox. We can also see that we have my lovely little uh, Seawolf here, who's incredibly, incredibly deep. Now, if you look very carefully, you'll realize that all of the underwater channels now also have that same representation. So as I'm kind of moving my submarine around, you can actually see that its depths is actually relative to the objects underneath it. You know, if I go like this, it becomes more obvious that that submarine is actually significantly below it. Now, where this gets really, really weird is if uh, you bring my submarine here, I'll bring it a lot shallower. It's only uh, 1354 feet here. Let me go grab my uh, ship as well. Hey, Knox, get your butt over here. I need you for something. So if I go down here as well, you can actually see the terrain, how we're not that much farther from the terrain itself. I think I've exaggerated a little bit more here. There you go. Now you can see it a little better. Now the fact that the summary is indeed below our target there. Now the cool thing is because we can exaggerate this, as I was showing you a few moments ago, let's go ahead and crank this up to something stupid. <laughs> so now if I grab my little subsurface contact and go toss them to the deep part of the ocean, you get an amazing feel for how stupidly deep the ocean is. You can see all in here, for example, how as I move it, how this ramps itself upwards to get to the more shallower shelf that's up here. And it's just amazing how our little tiny sub, and you look, you can see just how deep this water is here. 
getting a very, very good look at it. And I think that's such a neat little feature that they added. Of course, that's like, you know, not the fancy thing they added. Obviously, the GPS disruption and all that is very, very critical. But there is one really goofy thing that, um, I don't know, part of me kind of wants them to leave it this way. Part of me doesn't want them to change it. But we'll go ahead and I'll put this back down to 2x real quickly. And that's the fact, as you remember from before, we had the ability to basically add in satellites. And when we did add in satellites, um, <laughs> this is going to get a little goofy. Um, the problem with satellites, of course, is uh, they, they're very, very high up, especially if you use something like a communication satellite, which tends to be very high up. So if I zoom out a little bit, I zoom out a little bit, and I zoom out a little bit, and I zoom out a little bit, and I zoom out a little bit. Ah, there he is. You can see our lovely satellite is uh, basically just kind of chilling there like that. And if I go like this, you can get an idea of just how far up that satellite is. Remember, we're at an exaggerated height right now. So if you come back in here and say, whoopsie daisies, and exaggerate a little less, you realize it's still stupidly, stupidly high up here. And if I zoom in a little bit, you can see where altitude is. Uh, what is our current altitude here? It's only 42,000 kilometers up. We're up, we're up enough. We're up enough. <laughs> So as you can see, our new additions uh, to 1544 are kind of cool. I like this new uh, terrain stuff. I'm still kind of fiddling with it. Um, one of the fun things you like to do is you like to shoot a bunch of like cruise missiles along a valley and like watch them kind of go through the valley now. I don't know, I find that kind of cool. And I imagine eventually we're going to be able to press the middle mouse button and roll the whole screen and like Google Earth it and like actually see the valleys. But um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Enjoy.